I've thought of how great a game this would be. Like, just completely racing. Except if they do that, make it all just, like, PlayStation characters. Like, Nintendo. Which would make a Nintendo card, not a Mario card. Because when you stick to one series, you just kind of ruin the point. I mean, Sega did one, they did perfect on it. Great choice of characters. Too bad I don't recognize any of them. Yeah, why is... what is... what? What? What is that? That was hilarious. Hey, my throat's drying out a little bit. I'm gonna get a drink here. Okay, so... That was the easy part. And we should have six. Yeah, because there's one level I haven't done yet. Put this one. We'll go over here. Now, no matter what, this level will be the one where you can't get the vault open up until you beat the game, so... And, uh, but you can get the bottles, though, if you want to. And this is actually one of my favorite levels, just design-wise, out of all the Panda King levels, I don't know why. I guess it just looks really nice. And I also like jumping on these buildings, it's really cool. But, uh, yeah, this is one of those levels I remember a lot because I did it a hundred times trying to get the vault opened up. Shut up, Ringtail. I don't know what you're doing here in China, but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. Okay. Pretty sure that I'm about to do that. Okay. Maybe we should get those bottles back there. Or miss those. Those would be the ones you wouldn't want to miss. Jerk. Don't shoot right now. That just cuts a little bit of the level out for you. It's being nice. If you did manage that, you just do this and does the same thing. That should be near all, like, near all of them, but four left. I don't see they can easily hide four bottles. It's a lot. There's two right there, so they shouldn't be that far away. I have one vault, I think, box. 
And if you miss a bottle here or something like that, don't be afraid just to ignore it for now because you're gonna be coming back here anyways. Even if you do get them all. Carmelita, you suck. Again, you don't really need to worry about it, so I'm not really going to worry about it. It's... Watch your back, Cooper. When you least expect it, I'll be there. Let's just get the key and get out of here. And that was everything. Now, we can just get our butts onto that freaking firework thing. So right here it is, the last one. Or, this is not the last one in the game. But we got all the keys in the game at least, so I can say that. Make sure you hit it first. Otherwise, you won't be able to ride it. You'll be sitting there for like an hour figuring out what to do. I literally thought the game broke when I couldn't open it. I got it, so. I don't know who's all that was. Have you come here for revenge? Steal back the previous vacunas. That was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves, while you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. This is the easiest boss Still, in the game. To honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Foo. That's what I do. Yeah, we do that Palm of the Thunder thing. That's the best time to attack him. Because you can get a few solid blows in there. Chop also some pretty easy shots in, so solid work. And you beat him. Your skill with that game is unparalleled. Yeah, if you figure out how to avoid his attacks, he's actually the easiest boss in the game. It's really stupid. Gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. What are we gonna do? Armed with his designs, Irish and Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van.